Now you've warmed up, let's get more serious. Let's get serious. Push your luck. After a jump, you can trigger the super jump by pressing the jump button again as you touch the ground. It's easy. Odie will show you. He does a double jump and at the exact <laughs> moment he touches the ground, he presses the jump button to trigger the super jump. It's your turn now. Break the vase up there. That was so awkward. I love that. It's just, um... Oh my god, you have to hurry up. Odie will show you how to do this and you will can do exactly what you have to do and then you will do the right thing. I love how you slowed down there for the second sentence and this jump kind of reminds me of that jump you had in uh, Donkey Kong 64 with Diddy. Oh, I pressed the wrongest button. I pressed the wrongest button. Apparently if you slide off a platform, you'll just slide down slowly like some sort of weird flying squirrel cat. It's me. Club. You should be visiting the castle instead of trying to convince yourself you're an athlete. Don't forget, the super jump will make you jump much higher. Right, so let's visit the castle now that we can visit the castle because we have the super jump. Let's save the game! We're already at 9%, although probably at 10%. Now we know how to do the super jump, and we have completed the super jump tutorial. Are we ready Nibbly? to rock and roll? We are ready to rock and roll. And I do believe the castle is probably exactly where it's... No, it, it's just going to point to Garfield. Okay, that was a bit weird. Would have expected it to just point at the castle first, but... Um, no, we're not We're not going to do that. That's, um, that's the easy way of doing things, I suppose. I do like how you can just continuously do these super jumps, though. That is kind of nice. And actually, I wonder if with the super jump, we can actually make it inside that little fountain thing. I'm a little bit curious about this. To the fountain! Let us go onwards to victory. And victory means fountain. Okay. I'm gonna say there's probably nothing in this fountain, and I'm not gonna die. Ha! Ah, lovely. But now I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with my health. I have no idea if there's any, actually any faster than just... Um, Moving around normally, but whatever. Maybe this is actually faster. It does look a little bit... Blah, 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 blah. It does look to be a little bit faster than... Uh, using normal walking speed, but there you go. I do like that lasagna actually heals you back up again as well. That's nice. Press the button to open the door. Seems kind of awkward to have the button only on one side, so once someone's inside the castle, they can lock it and then... No one will ever be able to enter again, though. I guess with castles, that's generally a kind of a feature, isn't it? That you can lock yourself in so people can't get inside. So it's all safe and stuff. I am being a clever person while I'm talking. I should probably stop talking before I say even more silly things. I wonder if I can break this thing. I want to break the pots, as the game taught me. There are a lot of these infinite health, invincibility helmet things running around here. To find a mission here, you must go a bit higher. Well, ooh, spider. No! But Garfield is allergic to spiders in my fan fiction. That's right. I write Garfield's fan fi I wonder if that exists. Actually, I really don't want to know if that exists or not. That's the most terrifying idea I've had all day. I don't care how many times he says that, he's allowed to say it again because it's just such an amazing thing to say. Uh, where should I go? That's a very green looking thing over there. How do I get there? It looks like I can get there from over there. Ooh, actually, can I jump up there from here? Yeah! And I just noticed Skype is turned on again while I'm recording. I should really get used to turning that off before I start recording things. Because I'm still not sure whether or not you can see the pop-ups. I am a smart person. Yes! But, uh, oh, ooh, nearly fell off there. That mustn't happen. That would be terrible. But let us go onwards to... That giant green glow over there, which is coincidentally also the... Come on, Garfield, why don't you make these jumps? But it is coincidentally also the green dot on the radar, so I'm just going to guess. Yes, that is exactly where we're going to go. And it will be glorious. What kind of amazing things will we find in the uh, Garfield graveyard thing? Why does this place even exist inside a castle? But whatever. Ooh, it's a duck. Yes, the duck we saved. All this energy is wearing me out. Gabby, you're sleepy. I wonder if Gabby can fly now. 
Or if we just place the duck. I kind of hope we can fly. We place it. Oh my god, I'm falling down. There's a teacup. I don't know what it does. Oh, it's a turbo type thing, maybe? I don't know. That's a bit weird. Can I pick up these lasagnas while I'm the duck? No. Ducks cannot pick up lasagna, apparently. The things we learn in Garfield games. But, um, yes, apparently if you just mash the jump button, you go up. And if you let go of the jump button, you go down. Turbo tea! Who on earth came with the idea to make tea a turbo? I don't know. Uh, probably the same people that decided to make a game based on a Garfield film. I actually wonder who made this game, actually. I didn't really pay... I think it was something like, uh, the, the game box where fun is made or something like that. It was really cheesy. And it was amazing because this is the most amazing game ever made. Because it's Garfield. Even though Odie looks like a very generic dog. But uh, well, I, I decided to ignore this fact because, um, yeah, Gar actually Odie never actually looked like he did in the comics. The This is actually the original design of Odie. Oh yes, that is exactly true. That was real easy. He's paying close attention to everything. He is Garfield, and that's amazing. Oh dear, let's save the game again, because we... Uh, I wonder how difficult that would have been on Nightmare Difficulty. That would truly would have been a nightmare, wouldn't it? Ah. Uh, hmm. So, where do I go now? Do I just go here again? You've already won this mission. Do you want to play it again? No! No, I do not. I do not wish to play this mission again. How on earth do I get up there? I must know. I must grab the lasagnas that are magically floating around this strange area. I wonder if I'm just supposed to go back to the um, original starting location thing again. Oh, I genuinely... Oh, do you have to walk all the way around to get those lasagnas? That would be so much fun. Let's do that right now. Double jump. Right. No, that's not the sprint button. Sprint through the spider. That is actually how I kill spiders in real life. I just run towards them, fall flat on my belly, and just uh, hope I slide through all of them, and then, uh, yeah, that, that's how I do things in real life. Oh, yes. I'm guessing the button for this thing is on the other side, isn't it? Use the radar to find the mission you can accomplish. Yes, I am aware of this, but the radar doesn't actually show any missions I can accomplish right now, you lying piece of liar. That's right, we're keeping it PG-13. Oh, boy, there's... Nothing here, is there? No. There is indeed nothing here. Wow, I'm learning so many things. Actually, I wonder, because of the weird sliding mechanic in this game, I wonder if I just slide over the gate from up that building. I propose we try this out, children, because otherwise we will never find out. What does the text say on this gravestone? Squiggly Wiggly, Squiggly, the Squiggly Wiggly Wiggly, 1965. Oh, yes. I'm pretty sure that is the exact text written on that gravestone. Oh, Garfield, you and your writing. Maybe this is uh, that gravestone is shown as how a cat would read it, and because cats can't read human language, it just looks like a whole bunch of squiggly lines. That makes sense to me, so I'm going to go with it. Uh, right, let's jump. Oh, wow, that actually worked. I am 90% sure that is probably not how you're supposed to do this, but whatever. It worked, and therefore I'm going to go with it's totally what you're supposed to do. Because after all, why else would there be a gift box over here? Yeah. Else there wouldn't be a gift box over here. That makes sense to me. It had a red Garfield, so therefore <laughs> I get an extra life. Because that's how decapitated Garfield faces work. Yes, decapitated Garfield, get an extra life. Because cats have nine. Actually, my, with, eh, you don't really start with nine lives. You start with like five. Seems like kind of a random number to start off with, with the, uh, the amount of silly jokes they could have put in this. Yes, you're Garfield, you start with nine lives. <laughs> Although maybe nine lives is the maximum amount of lives you could take with you. I guess that's uh, still a possibility right now. I have no idea what the maximum amount of lives in this game is, so you never know. We'll find out, um, well, at this rate, fairly, fairly shortly whether or not nine is indeed the maximum amount of lives. These rats are huge! You got, I just realized this. These rats and spiders, everything here is just gigantic. I wonder if Garfield's just shrunk 
Or if the enemies here are just really large, like some sort of weird mutant freaks uh, that are flying around here. Yes, flying. The spiders are flying. You may not have noticed this, but we are actually all in the sky as well. Yes. But, uh, it doesn't look like there's really anything else to do here except just grab lasagnas. And we got another extra life, because clearly we don't have enough extra lives yet. Oh, no. Clearly we do not. So let's see, what do we have here? I'm pretty sure there's still a whole bunch of lasagna. <laughs> yes, there is still more lasagnas. I'm guessing at 80 you'll probably just get an extra life or something like that. Probably not even going to do anything in particular. But whatever. Still worth collecting just to make sure that that is indeed the case. I mean, I might be completely wrong. Maybe 80 is just the maximum amount of things you can collect here. And then suddenly a magical door will open to the land of pixies. Yes, who knows? So many possibilities. There's a frog here. I will jump on top of it. It died. Okay. Apparently the frog is not a platform that you have to jump onto. It is just an enemy. Because every uh, uh, every single animal around here, it must be an enemy. It is. It must be so. But how do I get up there then? Maybe I actually need a different ability to get up there. That's weird shading when I turn completely black. That's it's. I'm gonna say that's a bit weird. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with probably gonna need an extra ability though. There is another thing I can climb up there. This is just gonna be me climbing on top of things. The game that would have probably been a more accurate name, and it just happens to have Garfield in it. Yes, that would have been a pretty good name for this game or the film actually. Garfield jumping on top of things. And continuously doing front flips. That 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 would be um, something I can totally see Garfield do. And uh, <laughs> now that I'm here, this would probably be the way to get over here, and not that weird sliding thing I did to get over there. But whatever, my way worked, and therefore it is definitely the way you're supposed to do that. Because uh, otherwise, that totally wouldn't have been possible. That's what I'm gonna go with. Hmm. You know, I'm starting to think. I actually need a different ability to get there, but uh, just gonna do one final check, and that is going over there. That is my final check, the checkeroo, if you will. I don't know why it would be the checkeroo, but I choose it to be the checkeroo. Hmm, I can actually. Get, okay, apparently I can fall down there as well, but I can probably get over this gate using the super jumper. So let's see if we can get up here again. Probably. We might have to use the plant pot, but once we are used the plant pot, we can totally make it there. Hmm. Can I get up here? No. That's a shame. Uh, no, that was the most horrible attempt since 1985. That was the first attempt of jumping over this thing. That was This was his third attempt, clearly. They didn't try again until 25 years later. Fact, but, um... This was actually made for the Atari at first as well, but I don't need to stop making this joke because I've been stretching on for too long. Let's um, see, is there anything else we can do here? Probably not. <laughs> I'm gonna go with probably... No, well, maybe. There's uh, some more jumpingy jumping platforms over here. We can jump on top. And they take us to an area where we haven't been yet. Ooh. Now we're getting interesting. I need to change my seating position because it was getting really uncomfortable. But now that I've changed my seating position, we can fall down here because this is... There's no way I can make this jump. <laughs> right, okay. Well, that's, um, that was an interesting experience, I think. I'm uh, glad I tried that because, uh, yeah, I I'm really happy about this. There's so much lasagna. Why would you keep so much lasagna in a graveyard? It seems like kind of a waste of lasagna. Even me, a person who doesn't especially like lasagna, would say that this is kind of a waste of lasagna. So, um, yeah, you should probably be do be doing a little bit of a better job hiding your lasagnas. This, this is just this is just not appropriate. Unless maybe they're honoring the dead with lasagna. That that would make sense actually. I've heard that in certain species and tribes, they use lasagna as an offering to their gods. Yes. Their god was called Arfield. This is probably all just a very large coincidence that this cat is called Garfield right now. But maybe they were worshipping the orange cat known as Garfield. Who knows? 
Maybe Garfield. Well, Garfield that probably has a cult following, actually. So, uh, actually, that's kind of a cult following when everyone and their dog has heard of Garfield. I know. I guess cult following usually just counts as people who sort of. <laughs> what does cult following mean? <laughs> okay, now I'm just confusing myself. Because, yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's just. Uh, I think it's about time we head out of this graveyard. Yeah, cult following, I suppose, is just that the game didn't really get popular, but later on it kind of did, but it... it no, 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 no. Guys, stop talking. Okay, let's go back to the um, castle. Yeah, well, let's go back uh, to the uh, starting area thing. It would be nice if you, if you could sprint a little bit more often, that you wouldn't stand still so much. That would be kind of nice. Use the radar to find the missing you can accomplish. Thank you, game. I was not aware of the thank you for your hint. You are so helpful! Thank you! But I'm gonna guess that I'm probably gonna have to go to... 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 the... 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 area with the dog and the... No, I don't want to do this again. Why do you ask me these things? I just run past it. That doesn't mean I want to do it again, you little sneaky man. Little, little, little. Hmm.